Well, hello, creeps, and welcome back to another episode of Library Macabre. And, wow, it's been a very long time since I've sat down here to film a video. It's been almost a month. Um, there are reasons for that, and I will go into all of that uh, after the intro. Um, but, in this video, I will be unboxing a very... Uh, much anticipated package. So this is the December Nightworms package, so I will break into this after the intro. Before I get into the package, I did want to give you a little explanation of why I've not been around. Uh, for anybody who has been wondering, um, I did post a thing on Twitter recently just saying I'm taking a little break uh, just because I've not been in a great like, headspace lately, I'll just say. Um, it all started like after Halloween ended. I think I had a little bit of post-Halloween blues, maybe some post-book uh, release blues. Uh, the Copa stuff happened with YouTube. I don't know if you've heard about any of that. I'm not going to go into it here in the video because this isn't about that. This is about Nightworms. This is what this video is about. I don't want to go too much into all of that. Uh, so that's one reason why I've not been filming a lot of videos. I've just not been in the mood for YouTube. And to all those authors who have sent me books for review, I'm sorry. I, I'm trying to read. I've been in a bit of a slump lately just because I'm not in a great headspace. I've been really depressed. Uh, and it's not just about Copa. It's just life stuff. I've been having a really hard time. Uh, anyway, enough about all that, because I have a new Nightworms package here, and I'm so excited to get into it. This is the most excited I have been in weeks. Uh, this is something I've been very much looking forward to, and when it came in, I just felt a relief. Like, yes, this is something that I can do, that I'm really excited about, that I've been looking forward to. It's like Christmas in my mailbox, and I don't know, I kind of need that right now. So. Yeah, I'm going to get into this. And uh, so this this package is uh, the one year anniversary package of Nightworms. The very first one came out in December of last year. I unpackaged it on my channel. I have a video of it, so I will link that up there. Um, I can't believe that it's been a full year. I have been a rep for the Nightworms for almost a full year now, and it's amazing. And I'm so happy to be a part of it. Uh, and this package is going to be awesome because I don't know anything about it. Uh, they have not put any spoilers on Instagram. It is all a complete mystery to me. So that makes it really fun. Uh, I have no idea what to expect. So here we have a little goodie bag and I can already see that there's a sticker right there that says who's naughty and you have Krampus on the sticker which is really cool. It's not Christmas without Krampus. Now the first thing I see is the little insert here that goes over everything that's in the package. Um, I don't want to look at it yet because I don't want to be spoiled. Uh, but there is, it looks like a 10% off code on the back here for the Bookish Den, who does engraved wooden bookmarks, which are really cool. I actually do have one that I got in a previous Nightworms package. So I will need to go on their website and buy a couple of bookmarks. And speaking of which, here we go. There's one of their bookmarks right there. And it says, Winter White, Winter Fright, Nightworms 2019. So we have an exclusive Nightworms bookmark from the Bookish Den. Very, very cool. And I'm gonna try to get up closer so you can see all of the engravings. And then here we have a sticker, which is very uh, vintage Halloween looking. I don't know who made this. I will take a look here in a minute and see. Uh, I don't want to look at the paper yet because I don't want to spoil the books for myself, but that is amazing. And then we also have a little uh, postcard insert here for Served Cold by Alan Baxter, which is the new book that he just released. It looks really cool. And we have a bookmark here from Bloodshot Books. 
who I love. I've read a couple of their books. Uh, they do some amazing work. I'm thinking that maybe they have a book featured in the package. That would be really cool. All right, and here we have a sticker for Bones Coffee Company. I have never ordered any of their coffee before, but I've always wanted to. Their, uh, their artwork is amazing, for one, and I'm sure their coffee tastes amazing. And we have a couple <clears throat> of peppermint sticks, which I will definitely use in a cup of hot cocoa. And we have a signed book plate by Kelly Owen. So that might be a little hint about what's to come. And here we go. I have definitely been in need of more magnets for my book cart. So we have a Nightworms magnet right here with a blood covered snowman and a snow globe. And it says Nightworms one year anniversary, December, 2019. That is amazing. I'm so proud of the Nightworms. A whole year and they've done so much hard work this past year. So much hard work. And the very last thing we have is an enamel pin for The Devouring Dark. I definitely need to pick up that book because it looks really cool. All right, and I do see that there's something else included. I should have known. Here we have a Bones Coffee Company package of coffee. It says high voltage, uh, highly caffeinated. Yeah, I am not a morning person, so this is going to come in handy. All right, so that is all for the goodies. Now we're getting into the books. There are four books in there. The first one I see is called Beneath Ash and Bone by D. Alexander Ward. That looks awesome. This is from Bedlam Press. And I've seen this cover. Uh, I don't know what this is about, though. So I will read the back here for you. It says, a quiet black water town nestled among the Blue Ridge Mountains. In the days before the Civil War, Sam Locke keeps the peace as the town sheriff, like his father before him. That peace is shattered during a raging winter storm when a boy goes missing at Evermore, the sprawling estate of Horace Crown Hill and his family. Racing against time and the elements, Sam must mount a desperate search for the child, but what he finds in the snow and the dark halls of Evermore are madness and murder. So this sounds like a nice winter read, perfect for this time of year. So I'm very much looking forward to getting into this one. All right, and sure enough, we have a Kelly Owen book right here. This is called Waiting Out Winter. So obviously another good book for this time of year. Uh, this one says, Nick and the boys return from the summer's last hunting trip to find the streets empty, the beachfront and park abandoned, and the windows of their own homes boarded shut. The hunters have become the hunted, in an apocalyptic plague that pits man against beast. Very tiny beasts. And Nick is determined to keep his strength, courage, and family alive during what could, be, what could very well be the last winter of their lives. Next up, we have awesome... I've heard a lot of great things about this book. I've been wanting it for a while. This is called Where the Dead Go to Die by Aaron Dries and Mark Allen Gunnels. And this is published by Crystal Lake Publishing. The synopsis of this one says, Inside the hospice, Emily and her fellow nurses do their rounds. Here, men and women live out their final days in comfort, segregated from society, and are then humanly terminated before fate turns them into marrow-craving monsters known as smilers. Sounds like it's going to be a really heavy read already. Outside these imposing walls, rabid protesters swarm with signs, caught up in the heat of their hatred. This emotional political novel comes from two of horror's freshest voices and puts a new spin on the eternal topic, the undead. So this sounds really deep and emotional, and that is my kind of book. And lastly, we have, ooh, this looks interesting. Jimmy the Freak by Charles Colloit and Mark Steensland. This is a bloodshot book. I can't wait to read this. It sounds great. I love the cover. It's got a snowman on it. it. Takes place, of course, during the winter. So this will be a good book to squeeze in during the winter months. All right, going back over everything that's included, we have Jimmy the Freak, which is by Charles Colloit and Mark Steensland. We also have Where the Dead Go to Die by Aaron Dries and Mark Allen. Gunnels, Waiting Out Winter by Kelly Owen, 
We also have Beneath Ash and Bone by D. Alexander Ward. A package of high voltage coffee from Bones Coffee Company. An engraved wooden bookmark from the Bookish Den, as well as a 10% off coupon for their website. A bookmark from Bloodshot Books. An insert for Served Cold by Alan Baxter. A signed book plate by Kelly Owen. A Bones Coffee Company sticker. An enamel pin for The Devouring Dark a snow globe magnet with art by the bookish den and a merry witchmas sticker which is by vintage spooky company and yeah now i can see it there's a, a sled with a witch in it and instead of reindeer you have bats i don't know why i didn't put that together before uh that's awesome and then we also have some peppermint sticks in case you want to add those to your hot chocolate this winter season so there we go that is another knock out of the park package from the nightworms uh thank you so much to ashley and sadie for sending this along to me you guys are both so awesome i love you both um this made my night <laughs> i really needed a pick me up like this this was really really nice so uh, thank you again thank you for watching i really hope you enjoyed this video and i really hope i'll see you soon I mean, I'm trying, I'm really going to try to, to do more videos even despite all of the stuff. Um, but thank you for being patient with me, everybody. Uh, see you soon. All right. Bye. Hey creeps. Thank you again for visiting my channel and for subscribing. If you would like to see more, I am on Twitter and Instagram at bookmovieguy. I am also the co-creator of the Library Macabre Books Facebook page. Also, I am a horror author, so if you would like to read any of my work or check out any of the pages that I mentioned, I will leave the links down below in the graveyard. And lastly, I am on Patreon, so I wanted to use this time to extend a very warm thank you to all of these awesome creeps over here. Those are all of my Patreon supporters, and I wanted to say thank you so much, guys, and uh, stay spooky.